All right, hey guys, Jonathan and Emma from Operation Contingency. Um, we are actually out here at the KOA in uh, East Asheville, right outside of Swannanoa, and we um, just decided to take a quick little getaway, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Emma is on spring break. Fall. fall break. Sorry, yes, it just turned fall. It's uh, October now. Um, and we decided, you know what, it's time for us to get out. Go camping. Go camping. Even if it's just for a night or two, just get out, get in the wilderness. KOA is not exactly the wilderness, but we wanted somewhere that was uh, kind of close that uh, we didn't have to cook and all that kind of stuff that we could just kind of go out into town and uh, know this area really well. I used to work up here. Um, so yeah, it's perfect little getaway. It's uh, It took us 45 minutes to get here, 30, 45 minutes to get here. Uh, we ate lunch at Luis's. Luis's. Oh my goodness. Was it amazing or what? It was amazing. Yeah. Emma, uh, we come up here somewhat regularly. Uh, Emma always gets her trusty standby. Granola and yogurt with fruit show you a quick video of that here and I got the pimento cheese with tomato and bacon here's the video so we are at famous Luis's in Black Mountain North Carolina one of our favorite places to come I have the pimento cheese sandwich with tomato bacon and some unbelievable potato salad Yogurt and granola with fruit. And we're back. So, uh, we were just uh, finished setting up here uh, on the campsite and we were talking about um, some of the things we like to do and some of the things we don't like to do when we go camping. Um, and Emma suggested that maybe we do a video of the do's and don'ts. Uh, or as she calls it, the doo-doos and the don'ts. I told her we weren't going to talk about doo-doo, and she said, what you will do. And I said, oh, that's better English. So not the doo-doos, but the things we will do. Um, so I guess we should show you guys real quick um, what the campsite looks like. So we are in spot E21, E21, Echo 21. Um, and I got to be honest with you, this spot is absolutely perfect. I mean, we are under a canopy with the lake right in front of us. Tons of geese. Tons of geese down in the corner over there. Um, and then we've got neighbors over here, but so far everybody's super, super quiet. Uh, got our little teardrop camper, um, which is from Rustic Trail Teardrops, right outside of Pilot Mountain, North Carolina. Um, the one we have is called the Kodiak Stealth. Um, we'll do another review some other time about about it, but suffice it to say, we absolutely love the camper, right? At least me yes. and you do. We're kind of the kind of the campers, of the, the group, yeah. I guess. Um, but we love it. So let's talk about some do's and don'ts, or some do do's and some don'ts of camping. So what do you think is a do or a don't? Um, probably telling jokes with each other. That's a do. Yes. That's a doo doo. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I would say so. Yeah, I like telling jokes. I like picking and especially around the campfire. Especially around the campfire when we get that going later tonight, huh? Although we got to go out and get some stuff or some s'mores. Oh, yeah. What camping experience would be complete without s'mores? I don't, I don't know. think any. Hmm. Okay. We need s'mores. Yeah. All right. I don't is just getting on your phone and not talking to each other. Yeah. Uh, no, we want to have some time together. We want to be able to spend some time together, um, at least for us. Uh, I am always on the go. I'm traveling a ton for work. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, I have a couple different jobs, I guess, is the way you'd look at it, right? Um, so my primary job is I'm a higher ed consultant. I do marketing um, and enrollment related consulting for colleges throughout the country. Um, that means I'm generally on the road um, 
I think last year was around 200 nights a year in a hotel. So I'm gone a lot. Um, and then on top of that, the way I paid my way through college was I joined the military. Um, that was 19 years ago. And so I'm still in a reserve component. I've got one year left till I am eligible to retire. And, and he's chief. I am a chief in the Air Force, um, which is an E-9, which has uh, been pretty, uh, pretty cool. But a year left till I can retire, and I think they're ready, and I think I'm ready. I'm not sure my body can handle much more. Um, it's just breaking down. Uh, and then in addition to that, I guess third job is... Um, Being a dad. Well, being a dad, and then I teach, right? Yes, I teach some teach. college classes for um, an executive doctorate program at a, a school. Um, and that's just kind of as an adjunct basis, kind of part-time, but um, it's still something else that, that pulls me away. And then my favorite job is being a dad to this beautiful girl and then her sister, um, who you saw in one of our other videos. So, yes, um, when they went to Overland X. Overland Expo East uh, in 2018, right outside of Asheville. Are so, you guys going again? Uh, we are going again. We're actually going next week, as a matter of fact. Next week we go to Overland Expo. Isn't it Virginia? It is in Virginia next year. Or this, this year. year. Sorry, this year. Next, next week. week. <laughs> next week it is. Um, yeah, and we're looking forward to that, I think. Um, it's going to be a quick day trip because I will be camping. I do an annual camping trip with some of my old military buddies every year, and I'll be doing that um, on Thursday, Friday, um, and then I'm going to, well, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I'm going to take a quick hop up to Overland Expo East on Saturday morning and Sunday. Um, I'm basically going shopping is the way I look at it. We're not going to be able to uh, do the Overland experience like we did last year um, just because they moved the dates a little bit and um, my camping trip with the guys is not something that I'm willing to sacrifice. So we're going to go shopping basically is what we're going to do. It's like an outdoor shopping mall which is going to be fantastic. So I digress. Let's get back to the do's and the don'ts. So we do tell jokes, we do have fun, we do not do a lot of technology. Um, we will occasionally uh, do a, a movie at night. Yes. Right? And eat some snacks. And eat some snacks, lots of snacks. Yes, lots. Pop what else board. do we do? Um, mm. We actually play a lot of board games or card games when Emma and I, I can. I did bring a board game. Which board game did you bring? Um, I forgot the name. Let me go oh. Grab it. Well, while she goes and grabs that, I. Uh, I know we've also got the Monopoly, the National Parks edition of Monopoly. Um, she loves playing Uno. I like playing Uno as well. Uh, we'll play Blackjack sometimes. Um, and then what game did she bring? I brought Build a Robot, and there's um, over 1,000 possible robots that you can make in this kit. So. Yeah, awesome. So we'll build some robots. We'll maybe play some board games. Occasionally we like to play checkers or chess yes. too sometimes. That's, that's always a lot of fun. We did bring Skippo Jr. still in the camper from when we last did it. Yeah, I can't say I'm a huge fan of Skippo Jr. It's really complicated. Yeah. But I like Goa Uno or good old fashioned Go Fish. Yeah. That's always a good one. War. War is a good one. You stay up really late for war, but yeah. it's a good one. Another thing we do when we go camping, uh, it's kind of a rule at, uh, at oh, our household, at the Shores household, is um, kids are free to wander. Don't mind if they go out, but they just got to tell us which direction, general direction that they go, and they know they can't get in a body of water without letting us know first as well. So we always like to know that. Just in case something happens, we kind of know where they're at. And Daddy, look what I just found. It's a baby goose. Oh my goodness, we have geese headed our way. And a baby. Baby goose, way down there, but you see how the mommies and the daddies and the aunts and uncles are all guarding them? Yeah. And the little geese are just chilling. Yeah, just chilling. So not a lot of tech, a lot of fun. We're going to sit by the campfire. Um, Make some small Found out about this Outland Fire Bowl. Uh, kind of excited about it. Um, we set it up. I guess a month or so ago. Um, I bought it at a recommendation from Lifestyle Overland. Um, they use it sometimes and it was listed on their product page as something that they use rather frequently. So I bought it, bought it 
uh, really liked it first go. So we brought it camping with us instead of uh, having to pack up wood and um, wait till that burns out and all that kind of stuff. Cause sometimes I'll start the wood and um, man alive, I'm, I'm ready to go to bed um, after, the, after the little one goes down here and it's, uh, it's time to go. We we're gonna bring it where we were on my class camping trip and we stargazed, but it, we couldn't. Yeah, it was also kind of hot. Yeah, it was. Then, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, which it's hot here, so we're now officially in fall. You can tell we're at about, I think Swannanoa, where we're at here, is probably 2,500, 3,000 feet. Uh, leaves are starting to change, which is starting. good. Starting to change. Not many are. However, today the high was 95 degrees and it's Yay. fall. Welcome to North Carolina. I feel sure later this week. Gonna be It'll probably be 60 degrees. It'll be 100 and then 60 degrees. <laughs> so. And then you never know. It could get down to like 40 degrees. Yeah. It gets hot True. and it's cold. We never get an in between. Okay, we got in between like at the first, day, like before it was even fall. Yeah. And before it was even fall, it felt like winter outside. So. And the farmer's almanac is calling for a very very cold winter. Yes. Not feeling it right now, although it's just the beginning of fall. But anywho, what are some other do's and don'ts? Um, how about when we set up the camper, our little teardrop? Oh, yeah, don't trust touch the electricity. No, um, even though we have wheel chalks, try not to rock the camper that much. Um, lots of exploring, do explore that is a big thing for us. Do get out, go and look at don't things, get in the way. and yeah, don't get in the way, right? What parent likes kids that get in the way as we're trying to cook or clean or Anything whatever like although interestingly enough when it comes time to cleaning they do disappear hmm. <laughs> have you figured us out <laughs> oh well, we love coming out here we love being in nature we love uh just hanging out and uh that's what we're doing today and we're just gonna have a good time and i think this is my first time actually coming to this campsite normally we go to hidden creek we do go to Hidden Creek in Marion. We went to Hidden Creek on my birthday. That is the closest one for us. Um, it is literally 15 minutes from the house, so sometimes we'll go there. But this one was just a little bit further, and it's a KOA. thing I like about KOAs, um, you know what you're going to get. It's generally going to be a good, clean, well-run campsite. Um, I, I prefer to get out in the woods, but this is an absolutely fantastic alternative to that. One thing I do like about Hidden Creek is on Mother's Day or Father's Day, they will make pancakes, and children can come at, up with their parents and have a little buffet. Now, yeah. it was Mother's Day when me and my dad went, so we kind of didn't bring mom, but... And mom wasn't there. She didn't want to go, but yeah. she wanted some alone time, so... And Morgan wasn't there, so she didn't really get it. Yeah, I forget. Morgan was with somebody else. Sophia. Yeah, she was with her friend. Um, so, yeah, so we gave Mom some alone time, and we went camping. Win-win for everybody. Morgan got to hang out with her friend. We got to camp, and Mommy got her alone times. Three wins. Yes, three wins. All right. I guess that's it for now. Wasn't a lot of do's and don'ts. But it was just a lot of rambling. That's okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, Jonathan and Emma from Operation Contingency. We'll see you next time. Bye.